Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest innovations and insights in green energy, including cutting-edge developments like green hydrogen. Whether you're a sustainability veteran or just beginning your journey, we have something for everyone. Join us on this channel to explore inspiring projects for a sustainable tomorrow. We bring you the latest in renewable energy, sustainability, and cutting-edge technologies. And don't forget, for more in-depth information and resources, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates and exclusive content. As the world accelerates toward cleaner energy solutions, the transportation sector is at the center of this shift, with a growing focus on zero-emission alternatives. One area of innovation is rail transport, where hydrogen-powered trains are emerging as a promising alternative to conventional diesel trains. But how do hydrogen trains stack up against electric and diesel trains in key areas like efficiency, cost, and sustainability? Hydrogen trains, like Alstom's Caradia I Lint, use fuel cells to generate electricity by combining hydrogen and oxygen. This reaction produces electricity that powers the train, with water vapor as the only byproduct. The technology offers zero-emission rail transport, making it an appealing alternative for non-electrified routes. While the Caradia I Lint has been in operation in Europe since 2018, recent trials in North America are showcasing the potential for broader adoption of hydrogen trains. When it comes to efficiency, electric trains have a clear advantage over both hydrogen and diesel trains. Electrified rail systems are directly connected to the power grid, allowing them to draw electricity with minimal energy loss. This direct use of electricity makes electric trains incredibly energy efficient, with efficiency levels ranging from 80% to 90%. Hydrogen trains, on the other hand, involve several conversion steps before powering the train. First, electricity is used to produce hydrogen through electrolysis. Then, the hydrogen is stored and later converted back into electricity within the train's fuel cells. Each of these steps involves energy loss, leading to overall efficiency levels of around 30% to 40%. Despite this lower efficiency, hydrogen trains offer unique benefits, particularly in regions where electrifying rail lines is neither practical nor cost-effective. Diesel trains, while more flexible and widely used in non-electrified areas, are the least efficient option among the three. Diesel engines convert only about 25% to 35% of the energy in diesel fuel into useful power for locomotion with the rest lost as heat. Additionally, diesel trains emit as the world accelerates toward cleaner energy solutions, the transportation sector is at the center of this shift, with a growing focus on zero-emission alternatives. Cost is a crucial factor when comparing rail technologies, and the analysis varies depending on whether you're looking at initial capital expenditure or long-term operational costs. Electric trains, while highly efficient, require significant upfront investment in infrastructure. Electrifying rail lines involves installing overhead wires, substations, and additional maintenance systems, which can be prohibitively expensive, especially for long, rural routes. Once the infrastructure is in place, however, electric trains are generally cheaper to operate due to lower energy costs and reduced maintenance compared to diesel trains. Hydrogen trains, in contrast, don't require extensive infrastructure changes. The main investment lies in setting up hydrogen production and refueling stations. Green hydrogen, produced through renewable energy sources like wind and solar, remains costly to produce at scale, although prices are expected to decrease as technology matures and production scales up. Despite these initial costs, hydrogen trains offer a flexible solution for regions where electrifying rail lines isn't feasible. They can also be a more cost-effective choice in the long run as green hydrogen technology becomes more widespread and affordable. Diesel trains have lower initial costs because they require minimal infrastructure. They can run on existing tracks without the need for electrification or special refueling infrastructure. However, they face rising operational costs due to fluctuating fuel prices and increasing carbon taxes. Additionally, the long-term environmental and societal costs associated with pollution are pushing governments and operators to explore cleaner alternatives. Sustainability is where hydrogen and electric trains shine, though each has its own set of advantages. Electric trains are highly sustainable as long as the electricity used comes from renewable sources. In regions where the grid is powered by a mix of renewables and fossil fuels, the overall environmental benefit of electric trains can be diminished. However, as grids continue to decarbonize, electric trains remain a leading solution for sustainable rail transport. Hydrogen trains are considered fully sustainable when powered by green hydrogen. Unlike electric trains, which depend on the grid's energy mix, 
hydrogen trains can operate independently using locally produced green hydrogen. This makes them ideal for regions where electrification is impractical, such as remote or rural areas with long stretches of non-electrified tracks. The main sustainability challenge for hydrogen trains is the current reliance on gray or blue hydrogen, hydrogen produced from natural gas, which emits carbon dioxide. However, as green hydrogen production scales up, this issue is expected to diminish. Diesel trains are the least sustainable option due to their heavy reliance on fossil fuels and the significant greenhouse gas emissions they produce. Despite being widely used, diesel trains are increasingly being phased out in favor of greener alternatives, particularly in regions committed to reducing carbon footprints. One of the key advantages of hydrogen trains is their flexibility. Unlike electric trains, which require electrified tracks, hydrogen trains can run on existing non-electrified lines. This makes them a versatile option for regions where electrification is cost prohibitive. Additionally, hydrogen trains offer comparable range and speed to diesel trains, making them a suitable replacement for regional and long-distance routes. Electric trains, while efficient and clean, are best suited for high-density corridors where the cost of electrifying tracks can be justified by high passenger or freight volumes. They are commonly used in urban and suburban areas where frequent services and high-speed connections are essential. Diesel trains, though increasingly outdated, remain the go-to solution in many rural and remote areas where neither electrification nor hydrogen infrastructure is available. Their ability to operate on almost any track without additional infrastructure gives them a distinct advantage in low-density regions. Looking ahead, it's clear that the rail industry is shifting towards greener technologies. Electric trains will likely continue to dominate in high-density urban areas where electrification is already established. However, as governments and operators seek to phase out diesel engines, hydrogen trains are set to play a key role in bridging the gap on non-electrified routes. Alstom's Caradia i Lint has already proven that hydrogen trains are a viable and scalable alternative. With successful trials in Europe and North America, and growing interest from rail operators worldwide, the future of hydrogen trains looks promising. The key to wider adoption will be reducing the cost of green hydrogen and building the necessary infrastructure to support hydrogen refueling. In summary, each rail technology, electric, hydrogen, and diesel, has its place depending on the specific needs of the region. Electric trains offer unbeatable efficiency and sustainability in well-established, high-density corridors. Hydrogen trains provide flexibility and a zero-emission alternative for non-electrified lines, making them a game-changer for rural and regional routes. Diesel trains, while still in use, are gradually being replaced by cleaner alternatives as the industry embraces the energy transition. If you're interested in learning more about the evolving landscape of green hydrogen and its applications in transportation, check out the resources at reneenergy.com. We offer courses that cover everything from hydrogen production and project development to financing strategies, helping you stay informed in this rapidly changing industry. Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into clean energy and sustainable transportation. Visit reneenergy.com to start your journey into the future of green energy today. Thanks for tuning into the reneenergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode enlightening and motivating. There's a world of innovation and opportunity in sustainable energy, and we're delighted to share this journey with you. Stay in the loop with the latest on renewable energy and sustainability by visiting our website and subscribing to our newsletter. Your support is immensely appreciated, it's truly invaluable to us. Don't miss our next video on new trends in renewable energy. Follow us on social media for the latest updates. Enjoy the video? Like, subscribe, and share for more green insights. Thanks for watching.